You will find true success and happiness if you have only one goal. There really is only one, and that is this, to fulfill the highest, most truthful expression of yourself as a human being. You wanna max out your humanity by using your energy to lift yourself up, your family, and the people around you. The single most important lesson I learned in 25 years talking every single day to people was that there's a common denominator in our human experience. We want to be validated. We want to be understood. I've done over 30, 5,000 interviews in my career. And as soon as that camera shuts off, everyone always turns to me and inevitably in their own way asks this question, was that okay? I heard it from President Bush. I heard it from President Obama. I've heard it from heroes and from housewives. I've heard it from victims and perpetrators of crimes. I even heard it from Beyonce and all of her Beyonce-ness. Friends and family, yours, enemies, strangers, in every argument, in every encounter, every exchange, I will tell you, they all want to know one thing. Was that okay? Did you hear me? Do you see me? Did what I say mean anything to you? My hope is that you will try to go out and have more face-to-face -face conversations with people you may disagree with. That you'll have the, the, the courage to look them in the eye and hear their point of view and help make sure that the speed and distance and anonymity of our world doesn't cause us to lose our ability to stand in somebody else's shoes and recognize all that we share as a people. This is imperative for you as an individual and for our success as a nation. So whether you call it soul or spirit or higher self, intelligence, there is, I know this, there's a light inside each of you, all of us, that illuminates your very human beingness if you let it. And as a young girl from rural Mississippi, I learned long ago that being myself was much easier than pretending to be Barbara Walters. Although when I first started, because I had Barbara in my head, I would try to sit like Barbara, talk like Barbara, move like Barbara. And then one night I was on the news, reading the news, and I called Canada, Canada. And uh, that was the end of me being Barbara. I cracked myself up on TV couldn't stop laughing and my real personality came through. And I figured out, oh gee, I can be a much better Oprah than I could be a pretend Barbara.